All right, guys, let's be real. Like, one blister pack is pretty cool, but, like, 22 of them, that's just, like, life-changing, okay? Oh, my goodness, I'm excited. Whoo! <laughs> All right, guys, so I definitely think we have enough booster packs in the back. We also have enough Tapu Coco promos and Tapu Lele promos, and I also want to give a huge thank you to Over the Top TCG. Uh, but, but one thing that I don't think we have enough of are, are these Kyogre coins. Like, I, I, I need more of them. Like, 22 of them? Not enough. Like... I, I need 50 million of them in my life. Anyways, pop those off to the side. Uh, quickly gonna show off the two different promos that you get in these blister packs. Uh, we did a slower opening of like two individual blister packs on the channel previously. So if you wanna go check that out, you can. But we have the Tapu Lele and the Tapu Coco. Very cool. And of course we get, uh, you know, code cards too. Uh, so pretty cool, pretty awesome. We're gonna stick those off in the back and just get organized a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we just got like giant stacks of packs to sort of go through. Um, again, these bush packs had two packs of Celestial Storm and one pack of Guardians Rising each. Um, since we do have so many packs, um, I, I think what, it's a total of... It, it, I think it's, what, we had 22, ooh, a Ludicolo Hollow, um, 22 blisters, so that means 44 Celestial Storm packs alone, uh, so over a booster box worth, so definitely gonna be a, a longer video, um, but really excited, we have a Minin and we have a Grumpig, so I'm just gonna show off the reverse, show off the rare, move along. If you like videos like this where I just show off the juicy, juicy stuff, um, a lot of my 100-pack openings are similar. What a curio, the dancing birdie. Um, so that's the thing. If you like the slower openings, uh, the first couple of booster box openings were like this. Or, sorry, the first couple of booster boxes, uh, we took it a little slower. We got a Jirachi Prism Star, hello, and a Del Mice. Holy smokes, that is beautiful. All right, pop that right there. We're just going to have some stacks going on behind us. All right, next up we have a Grumpig Reverse Rare, very cool, and a Lunala Holographic. That is a new one for us, actually. We've pulled that in reverse form, or, I don't know, depends on what order, let's see, this is going to be going up on Sunday, most likely. Okay, so yeah, we have already pulled the Lunala Reverse, uh, but that's the first time pulling the Holographic card, so that's pretty cool. And I've mentioned this before. Oh, 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 hold up. Hold that thought. Vanillite and Metagross GX Full Art. Holy smokes, that's beautiful. Wow. All right, this is from Guardians Rising, so it's not a textured card from Celestial Storm, but we will definitely welcome this onto the channel. Metagross GX Full Art with Geotech System, Giga Hammer, and Algorithm GX. Holy smokes, beautiful card. Very, very cool. Pop that guy off to the side. Um... What was I talking about? <laughs> I don't even remember. Um, I, I, I don't even remember, guys. Uh, Spoink and a Macargo. I, I, I don't remember, but anyways, the packs, we got a lot. Let's set some goals for today's video. Um, ooh, Alolan Rattata and a Lunala Holographic again. Okay, so now we're pulling a bunch of them. Uh, we are still in need of the Alolan Radicate GX. Um, also, a bunch of the different... Full art card. Oh, 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 Latias, Prism, Star, and a Rayquaza GX. That is a very, very solid pack right there. Imagine pulling this out of a blister. Like, that would have been cool. That would have been really cool. All right. Pop that right there. Very awesome. Very, very nice. Very cool. All right. Next up, we have a Watchhog Reverse and a Victory Bell Regular Rare. Next up, we have a Beldum Reverse and a Bill's Maintenance Full Art. Guys, I don't know what it is, but with new sets, for some reason, without a doubt, every time, there's a specific Full Art that just chases me around throughout the set. This is our third Bill's Maintenance, and I think we've only pulled, like, a couple of other Trainer Full Arts, so it's weird. And, like, with Ultra Prism, there was, like, Cynthia Full Art that we literally pulled, like, I, I think four of um when when the set was out like we, we pulled four of that card um and then it's just like ev without a doubt every single set it's always a trainer too it's not like a regular foot or anything it's a trainer that just stalks us i don't know why but it's like anyways we're definitely gonna welcome bill to the channel um really great card definitely lovely lovely card to have stalk us uh, we have a lilligant as the regular rare Oh, I was gonna say, definitely not a fan of how they included 
Guardians Rising in these blisters. Would have preferred just three Celestial Storm, um, but I, I, I guess they just had a bunch of Guardians Rising sitting around and they wanted to get rid of some. I don't know. I, I, don't, I never understand how Pokemon determines like what to put into these blister packs. Like It seems so random sometimes. Like, I, I would have been a fan of Ultra Prism probably. Like I would have been down if they put like two Celestial Storm and like one Ultra Prism. I think that would have been okay. But like any other set, honestly, or maybe Burning Shadows too. I, I don't know. Actually, no, probably not Burning Shadows. Probably just Ultra Prism. That would be my... Yeah, so I would... The third pack, I would either want it to be Celestial Storm or Ultra Prism. But I guess that makes for a good question for today's video. Latias Prism Star, very nice. And a Heatran Hollow. Holy smokes, what a pack. Um, what would you have liked to have seen as the third pack? Do you like the, the way it is? Do you like Guardians Rising? I mean, there are, like, Tapu Leles in Guardians Rising, so it's not a terrible set. Um, Pelipper and a Claydol. Or do you, would you have preferred, you know, three Celestial Storm? Uh, you can pick any, I guess, Sun and Moon era set. What, what would you want as the third pick? We have a Chandelure Reverse. This is a Guardians Rising pack. And a Gothitelle. Okay. Alrighty. Next up, we have a Vigoroth Reverse and an Exploud Regular Rare. I'm also kind of bummed that the Elite Trainer Box was not of Jirachi, but instead of Rayquaza. I think a, like a Jirachi Elite Trainer Box, I feel like that would have looked really awesome. Um, not to say that the Rayquaza looks bad, but maybe two Elite Trainer Boxes and have one being a uh, Jirachi or a Delbais Holographic. Um, I think it would have been cool. Like Maybe like a blue or purple Elite Trainer Box. We, we definitely haven't seen enough purple Elite Trainer Boxes, I don't think. Anyways, I'm very off topic. Altar of the Sun and a Victory Bell. We have a Huntail Reverse and a Deoxys Regular Rare. Next up we have a Lombre and a Swampert. We have a Litwick and a Garbodor Regular Rare. Oh, we have a Latios Prism Star, very cool, and a Claydol, regular rare. All right, so ultra rares, picking up. Um, two textured ones so far, not bad. It's about on par with a booster box, actually. Oh, and I sort of revealed that one too early. Shiftry GX, very, very nice for sure. Wow, the pulls are just really picking up here. All right, Jirachi Pack. We have a Trico Reverse, love this artwork, and a Deoxys. We have a Hiker Reverse and a Macargo. Next up we have a Jangmo O Reverse and an Orokorio, the Dancing Birdie. All right, I'm gonna move that stack over. Two stacks remain, guys, all right. About halfway through, doing pretty solid, if you ask me. Trico and a Registeel. And for some reason, all of these Guardians Rising packs have had these, like, dot things going across them. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, Trampa GX. Holy smokes, beautiful card. I, it's definitely been a while since I've opened up, like, a significant oh amount of Guardians Rising. So, like, seeing these GXs, not bad. Like... A friendly reminder of how lovely of a set it was. Next we have Orokorio and oh my gosh that flew out of there. Wow that's lovely. I love this card. Wow Articuno GX full art. Beautiful stuff. Holy smokes look at that. Wow okay um this might be my favorite full art in the set. Like I've definitely seen scans of it before but this is the first time that I'm like holding it in my hands and Wow, like the hyper rare looks cool. I have it off to the side. I'll quickly pull it out. Look at that. Wow, that's nice. I don't even know which one I like better. Like usually all the time I'm just like, oh, I love the hyper rare so much more. But like the full art looks really, really great. Wow, okay, back on topic. Pop that off to the side. Beautiful card. Very happy about that. Uh, so now we have the Articuno full art 
and we have the Rayquaza full art. Those are my two favorite like Pokemon full arts in the set. Um, and then we have the Articuno in hyper rare form. So literally like the only thing I need to be like fully happy is just to get um, the Rayquaza hyper rare. And of course like a, an Alolan Raticate GX because we're still missing that card. I, I don't know how that's possible, but we are still missing it. We have a Swampert reverse and a Solgaleo holographic. Oh, we got a TV reporter, and oh my goodness, the pulls do not stop a Bonnet GX full art. Hello, how are you doing? That is a beautiful card. You got like golden, oh, guys, look at that golden teeth. Oh, Bonnet, you just, you, you up here, bro. You just living that bougie life with them golden, it's just, it's too cool for us. It's too cool for the channel, like. I don't know if we can handle it. We got a Litwick Reverse and <gasps> Tapu Koko GX. I definitely did not see that one coming. Wow. Okay, Um, we just got another pull. net and then a Tapu Koko back to back. Okay, then. Uh, we also have, oh my gosh, Torchic and a Macargo Regular Rare. All right, all right. We have a Ludicolo Reverse Rare and a Deoxys Regular Rare. We have a Salazzle and Victory Bell, regular rare. Next up, we have a Bagon and Macargo. Ah, Macargo, the regular rare. I think that might be one of the most common regular rare cards we pulled on the channel. Metagross Holographic, and look, there's a Steven in the background. Is that Steven? Yeah, I think that's Steven. Look at that. Let's get the camera to focus in. That is cool, I did not notice that before. And I've definitely pulled the card on the channel before, so it's not like the first time I'm seeing it. That's the cool thing, like the more you open up the set, the more you just like discover little things about it. And it's just like, I don't know, it's really nice. We got a Chandelure Holographic, very cool. Very happy about that. And next up we have a Metagro, or sorry, Matang and a Manetric regular rare. We have so many empty boost packs behind me right now. All right, we have a Scyther Reverse and a Swampert waving at you guys. What's up? Oh, the cards just did a backflip. All right, last pack from this third stack here. We have an Altar of the Sun and, oh my goodness, guys, Tapu Koko GX. What's up, bro? You are gorgeous. Okay, wow. Uh, we're doing really great. I'm very pleased with this. We have four full arts so far. Definitely pretty solid. Like, wow, okay. Uh, we have Bellsprout and an Alolan Radicate GX Bless. We finally pulled it. I'm actually really happy about this. I was concerned that we wouldn't get it and, like, we wouldn't have a complete, you know, common to GX set, which would have been, like, a huge troll. Like, that would have been kind of sad. Glad we were able to pull that. Um, very happy about that. Next up, we have a Latias Prism Star and another Manetric Regular Rare. All right, we've got a Probo Pass Reverse and an Alolan Nine Tails. Oh my gosh, the pulls keep—they just keep coming. It definitely seems like the pulls I've been getting from the blister packs have been better. Ooh, Heat and Hollow than the than the Elite Trader boxes, and I don't know why, but. Every single time that seems to be the case. Maybe it's because like not enough people buy the Blish packs and so Pokemon <gasps> tries to make the pulls a little better. Alolan Ninetales, holy smokes. Dub, like, like look at that. We literally have two of these now. And we got two Topo Cocos and we have like 50 million Prism Stars. Like, holy smokes. Okay, um, we're doing really great. Fantastic. All right, we have a Matang and a Talonflame. All right, we just need a Tapu Lele or a Hyper Rare Rayquaza, and this will literally be like one of the best videos on the channel. This is another Guardians Rising pack. We have a Murkrow Reverse and a Talonflame. We've pulled so many of the Talonflame Rare. Like, we've only got, you know, one in every three packs is Guardians Rising, yet it seems like we've pulled so many Talonflames. All right, coming down towards the end here. We have a Pokey Nav and a Macargo. Next up, we have a Snow Runt and a Wish Cash. All 
All right, we have a super scoop up and a Banette GX. Hello, Banette, how are you doing? Shady move, shadow chant, and tomb hunt. It's a scary attack names right there. We have a Hustle Belt and a Shift Tree GX. Oh my gosh, guys, what is happening? Like, back-to-back -back Ultra Ears, again. It's definitely, like, we're gonna definitely have to count the total Ultra Ears at the end of this video, because we are doing, seems like we're really doing great right now. Two packs left. <gasps> are you kidding me, Trico and guys? That's beautiful! Oh my gosh! Wow! I love this! It seems like just... Oh. <laughs> this is amazing, guys. This is actually really cool. Alright, we have an Articuno Hyper Rare. One of my favorite ones in the set, too. Look at the camera. It's just like freaking out right now. Beautiful card for sure. Very great texture on it, too. Total of one, two, three, four, five textured cards. That is fantastic. Alright guys, final pack, we have Oracorio. probably should have done the card trick, but oh well, anyway, Rayquaza, Rayquaza, how you doing today, bro, how you doing, alright, well, um, what a video, wow, um, just incredible, honestly, look at, like, just, let that sink in, like, these are all of the hollows or better that we've pulled, okay, uh, we're gonna quickly go through these, um, Heatran, Chandelure, I'm gonna just carefully place these down, because they are not in sleeves, Laughing Pikachu's really living on the edge today, Double Lunala, Ludicolo, Shift Tree GX, Banette GX, let's actually count how many Ultra Rares. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Holy smokes. That means, like, basically almost every blister pack we opened up had an Ultra Rare or better. Because we had, we opened up 22 blisters, and here we have 20 Ultra Rares. Wow, okay. Um, if you guys are skipping to the end just to see the, the Ultra Rares, I would definitely recommend going back and watching some of these this video because this was a really, really solid opening and, like, a lot of the packs had something really cool in it. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you have not picked up Celestial Storm stuff, please go check out Over the Top TCG. They have been fantastic to me. And, yeah, um, I love this set so much. Um... These blisters were fantastic. Don't ever be ashamed to be you because you are your own type of beautiful. Time to go put these into some sleeves. Bye, guys.